Hi, I'm Dr. Srividya. I'm the Apollo Pro Health Medical Director. Let's discuss about how we can prioritize our health as per the 2024 WHO slogan of My Health, My Right. Why do we even need to do this? As per some of the data which we have accumulated from the uh, Apollo ecosystem and from different uh, studies, national as well as global, what we are seeing is that the age of heart attacks, early detection of cancer or uh, strokes are coming down. That means younger and younger people are getting affected by these NCDs. So what do we do about it? Is it? It is not just enough to identify the problem. It is also important or equally important to put a sur surveillance, a self-surveillance sort of a thing on us. What are the three or four basic things which we need to do to ensure that I have the right to a good health is to ensure that I'm sleeping well. Six to eight hours of good sleep has to be prioritized. Uh, hydration, at least 2.5 to 3 liters of clear fluid and water uh, every day. Walk 10,000 steps to ensure the right cardiac workout and to keep flexibility and mobility around. If you have a stressful life and you're not able to prioritize your sleep, there is a chance that your anxiety levels will go up and you may start feeling low and depress depressed that will affect your productivity. So take help. Find out on what scale of stress are you and do you need help? Find out what is the exact cause of your stress. And the last but not the least is our diet. India as a country is what we call as a sarcopenic country. That means we do not have adequate protein in our diet, whether we are vegetarian or non-vegetarian. To ensure that we are taking 0.8 gram per kg body weight of protein on a daily basis. To ensure that we are eating adequate green leafy vegetable, which is going to will ensure that your uh, hemoglobin is well maintained, your calcium levels, your trace element. We don't need to check for these things, but this is automatically, it gets covered up when you make a conscious decision to eat right, drink adequate water, to maintain hydration, have adequate physical activity, sleep well and reach out if there is any problem and meet the right kind of, or meet the right uh, doctor, whether it is your family practitioner or a physician or a specialist who will give you all the answers you need. But prioritizing your health is in your hand. With every right comes a responsibility. The right to freedom, the right to choose what you want comes at the cost of your health. So prioritize your health, which is your responsibility. The rights will fall into place automatically. Thank you very much.